Hi guys, um, this is a video of how to do an eye. Um, I'm going to try to get as close as I can for you. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do eyes and how I do eyelashes. And sometimes there's a little trick to it. Um, so I'm going to show you what I do. So I've got a detail brush, a liner brush, and I also got this... Um, it's like a number four brush, um, round brush, just to put the white on. Now, if I'm doing this unicorn, I'm first going to be painting probably the whole thing white. So if I do, I'm going to go right over the eye when I paint it white because I want the background of the eye to be white anyway. So, and you're probably going to do, you know, a couple of coats of that, okay? Um, whatever you're painting this white. If you're not painting the unicorn itself white first, then you have to do the white inside the eye. Always put the white in first. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another coat here. I'm painting around it also because I, I want to put the eyelashes on and stuff. So, okay, now you want to let that dry a little. And, um, and yes, you will need some water. Okay, so now once you have your white, once you have your white, you want to put in your blue. Okay, so I'm going to use a brush that's a little bit, um, this here is like more of a detail brush to put in my blue. Now, when you put your blue in, you're going to make a circle. Now, if you need to, um, I don't normally do this, but if you need to do this, you can draw you know, take a pencil and, uh, let's see, just, you can draw the circle first. Okay. I don't normally do that. I usually just make a small circle like this. And after I make the small circle, I make it a little bit bigger because I want it to be even. Now see how it's a little bit transparent right now? So you can put a couple of coats to make it heavier, or you can leave it kind of transparent. When I do an eye, I try to go a little bit big on the iris. Now the iris, the iris goes, which is the blue part or the brown part or whatever color eye you want, green, blue, brown, or hazel or whatever. Um, you can you can actually. If you, if you want, you can put this in and make it transparent. I try to go as big as I can. So the white, then the blue goes on, and then the black. But everything goes on top of each other. You don't want to circle around. You don't want to do an iris and go like this around here and leave the middle ba blank because you're going to do the black. You want to put the black in on top of it. Okay, so that's one coat. Now I want it like a kind of a deep blue, so I'm going to put a second coat on there. And then let that dry. Just kind of floating it on a little bit. You can see I go right. When I do an eye, when you do an eye, okay, you want to make sure that you go. You don't have to do it this way, but if you're just making a regular eye that's looking forward, I mean, especially on an, uh, on an animal like this, you know, you want to put your white, then you want to put your circle of blue. Make sure you put your circle of blue, you kind of, I bring it right to the top and then go down a little. You don't want, and you don't want to, when this dries, you don't want to take a black and dot and put it in the middle as a dot because, I mean, you can, but it's going to look like, uh, you know, the eyes kind of popping out at you. So if you want it to look more of a realistic eye, this is what this is the way you want to do it. You want to keep it all so once you all up to the near the top. So when I do the black, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in. Then I'm gonna do a smaller dot. Like I said, you can pencil in and let it all dry if you want. But if you start off small enough, then if you have to make it, if it's uneven, and you have to make it a little bigger. You can. Now, I try to make sure my edge is nicely done because a nice circle and it's not jaggedy um okay so now you've got this so you've got the the black the blue the white the blue and the black okay now the black you might only need just one coat if you put it on there good i think that's going to be fine 
Now I'm going to take sort of like a liner brush, but the trick with trying to do lashes or trying to put a line in here and do lashes is to water this down because no matter what, the black is a little bit, any color, if you're trying to do lashes and you want it thin, you need to add a little bit of, I'm adding just a little bit of water to this so that, that it's very thin. I'm even going to dab it off on the paper towel a little bit. I don't want it, you know, I don't want a heavy line. So now when I put my line, I'm going to go right up inside there. And it's very easy because it's thinned down. So it's already going to be thinner. You can see that I've got it really thin enough that it's making a small line. If you're doing lashes, you want a little thin. You don't want too much water in it. So now you can just come down from the side and bring out some lashes. You can make final lashes or you, know, you can make them smaller if you want. Now that's normally what I do. If you want, you can put a line down here with a few lashes coming down the bottom. You can even, um, I've been known to do this where I just put it on the edge I don't go all the way and I just put a few lashes like that on that side there. You can also go around this edge um, of the blue. You don't have to do that. That's just an extra step. But like I said, if it's, if it's thin enough, you can do that. It doesn't have to be a thick, heavy, dark line. So it just has to be like this, like very thin. So the trick is watering it down a little bit, not so it's too watery, but watering it down so that you don't have a thick paint on here. Because that's when, if there's thick paint on your brush, that's when you're going to have problems. If you have a problem and you, you know, you don't like the way it looks because the eyelash got too thick or something, take a little toothpick and you're best to do this, it's best to do this when it's dry. But you can see... You could take a toothpick, okay, and I can even erase one of these lines if I wanted to. I can take it away, um, you know, like, see, I'm going to take this line away right here. So if I think it's too thick, I can just thin it down. If I think it's too thick in here, I can, I can touch it. Just barely touch it. If I think it's too thick up here, I can take some off with this toothpick. It's great to have the toothpick to do that with. Now, the only other thing you need to do on this eye is you need to put a highlight. So no matter what, the highlight makes a difference. If you look at this right now, you just need a little white highlight. So you're just going to put a dot. I always put it at the back of the eye. I don't put it here because, I don't know, it might look cockeyed, like it might, you know, be looking the wrong way. Um, if you want funky eyes, you can put it anywhere you want. But um, I always put it up in the back. And I just put a small white dot, not too big. But that makes the whole eye. If I want, I can even put another little highlight in there. Just an extra touch, okay? That's the eye. So that was just a simple eye. All right? So um, hope that helps you in the eye world. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Bye.